Hello friends, welcome back to Audio Pages. Flow. The Psychology of Optimal Experience. Introduction. Flow. The Psychology of Optimal Experience by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi explores the phenomenon of flow, a state of complete absorption and focus in an activity. Csikszentmihalyi argues that the key to happiness is not merely the pursuit of pleasure but the pursuit of activities that provide a deep sense of engagement. He introduces the concept of flow as the optimal experience, where individuals are fully immersed in a task that matches their skills with the challenge at hand. The book begins by defining flow and presenting the conditions necessary for its occurrence. Csikszentmihalyi discusses the dual axis of challenge and skill, emphasizing that an ideal flow state arises when challenges and skills are both high and in balance. He supports his theories with extensive research, drawing on studies from diverse fields such as psychology, education, and sports. Csikszentmihalyi explores the psychological implications of flow, linking it to increased productivity, creativity, and overall life satisfaction. He presents case studies and real-life examples to illustrate how individuals in various professions and situations experience flow. The book also delves into the idea that achieving flow requires focused attention and the ability to control one's consciousness, highlighting the importance of mindfulness. The author expands the discussion beyond individual experiences, exploring the societal impact of flow. He suggests that creating environments that foster flow can lead to improved collective well-being, productivity, and innovation. Csikszentmihalyi advocates for a holistic approach to life that prioritizes activities contributing to a state of flow, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. Flow addresses the interplay between work and leisure, arguing that both can contribute to optimal experiences. Csikszentmihalyi challenges conventional notions of happiness and success, encouraging readers to seek activities that provide intrinsic satisfaction rather than relying solely on external rewards. Throughout the book, Csikszentmihalyi weaves together psychology, philosophy, and practical advice. He explores the role of goals, feedback, and the concept of autotelic personalities, individuals who find purpose and joy in the activities themselves. The author acknowledges that achieving flow is a lifelong journey, requiring self-awareness and a willingness to embrace challenges. In short, we can learn key takeaways from flow book as 1. Definition of flow Flow is a state of optimal experience characterized by complete absorption and focus in an activity. It occurs when the challenges of a task align with an individual's skills, creating a harmonious balance. 2. Conditions for flow. The flow model emphasizes the importance of the challenge skill balance. High challenges and high skills lead to flow while low challenges and low skills result in boredom. Clear goals, immediate feedback, and a deep concentration on the present moment contribute to the flow experience. 3. Psychological Components Csikszentmihalyi explores the psychology behind flow, discussing the role of attention and consciousness. Focused attention is crucial for achieving flow, requiring individuals to immerse themselves fully in the task at hand. 4. Happiness and Fulfillment The pursuit of flow is presented as a key to lasting happiness and fulfillment. 
Csikszentmihalyi argues that the continuous pursuit of pleasure may not lead to genuine satisfaction, while engaging in activities that provide flow contributes to a more meaningful life. 5. Work and Leisure The book challenges the dichotomy between work and leisure, suggesting that both can lead to flow experiences. Csikszentmihalyi encourages individuals to find elements of enjoyment and challenge in their professional and personal lives. 6. Autotelic Personalities Autotelic individuals are those who find intrinsic satisfaction in the activities themselves, rather than relying on external rewards. The concept of an autotelic personality is central to achieving sustained flow in various aspects of life. 7. Mindfulness and Control of Consciousness Csikszentmihalyi underscores the importance of mindfulness in achieving flow. Controlling one's consciousness and being fully present in the moment are critical factors for entering a flow state. 8. Societal Implications The book discusses how fostering flow in societal structures can lead to increased productivity, creativity, and overall well-being. Csikszentmihalyi advocates for creating environments that support the conditions necessary for individuals to experience flow. 9. The Challenge of Goals The concept of goals is explored in the context of flow, emphasizing that clear goals contribute to the overall experience. Csikszentmihalyi discusses the delicate balance between having goals that provide structure and being flexible enough to adapt to changing circumstances. 10. Lifelong Journey Achieving flow is portrayed as a lifelong journey that requires self-awareness and a willingness to continually challenge oneself. Csikszentmihalyi acknowledges that the pursuit of optimal experiences is an ongoing process, with the potential for growth and development throughout life. In conclusion, Flow is a seminal work that has significantly influenced the fields of positive psychology and self-improvement. Csikszentmihalyi's holistic exploration of optimal experiences from their individual to societal implications, offers readers a profound understanding of how to enhance the quality of their lives by fostering moments of flow. Yeah.